Hi, I'm sorry. Hello everyone, my name is Clentus and it is five o'clock on the dot. I almost missed because I'm also on live here uh, on Instagram. So Instagram people, this is a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually live on Instagram and now I'm live here. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. And it is Saturday, our usual live stream. And us, the self appointed experts, about to do our thing. <laughs> yes, a judge called us self appointed experts. So we decided we are going to take over this so that he does not have the power over us. And I realized that he kind of like shifted away from calling us self-expect uh self-appointed experts i think he watches this channel because he said something that i usually say on this channel and i think probably i'm not saying i'm the only one but i think i may be the only one that says this on my videos that this judge is presiding over an unfair trial and he said that in those exact words i think it was the day before yesterday when did we come back from uh court no, on Wednesday, was it Wednesday or yes, I, I can't remember, but one of the days he said that, and I was like, Ooh, the judge, judge, if you are watching, hi, <laughs> if you're watching, hello, uh, that's what we do here. Thank you all guys so much for coming here. By the way, guys, I've gotten some questions regarding my carnivore diet. How is it going? Why nobody ever told me this thing works? It works, people. You just eat nothing but meat. Meat, meat, meat all the way through. You don't eat any uh, anything else, just meat. No carbs, no fruit, no vegetable, just meat. And then I have lost, yesterday, I, when I know, in fact, not yesterday, two days ago, I climbed on the scale and it said I lost four kilograms. Today, this morning, it said five and a half kilograms. Why? Because of the carnivore diet. I'm just eating nothing but meat for the past two weeks past two weeks last year this time i did uh, a vegan diet my goodness it almost filled me with bloatation is it bloatation or bloat <laughs> i think it was just bloat i was just bloated to a point where i developed hemorrhoids oh my goodness those stuff are painful to say the least but anyways uh, let me say goodbye to my people on Instagram and then just focus here and then move on. Everybody here on Instagram, thank you so much for being here. Hello, hello, everybody. And thank you so much, guys. Let us up. See you on YouTube. Goodbye. So when do I switch off here? <laughs> I've never been on Instagram live, you people. It's so embarrassing. In case you're wondering, here I am live on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know how to what to press. Is it the X side? Okay, let's see. If I press that, what happens? Oh, end video. Yeah, I just press that X and then end the thingy. I'll just share it. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know to whom am I going to share it to. My first, I'll just say my first Instagram live, right? Hopefully, I'll do more of these next time. Yeah, let's just send that. Okay, we are done with Instagram now. Let's focus here. <laughs> I'm all over the place, right? I'm sorry. I'm getting, my nose is getting blocked for some reason. I don't have flu. I don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, guys, the carnivore diet is working. I'm just eating nothing but meat. So far, I'm eating red meat and white meat, but the white meat that I'm eating is pork. I haven't touched fish yet. But uh, I do eat chicken maybe once a week. Yeah, I eat chicken once a week, but it's been beef and pork, beef and pork. And I've added eggs recently as well. And one thing I can tell you about carnivore diet, if you know anything about eating meat, it takes a long time for meat to digest, meaning that chances of e you eating um, twice or three times a day are next to nothing. So with me, it ended up being once a day. And I would even remind myself if I skip an entire day without eating the hey, dude, yesterday you didn't you did not eat. Put something in your body. And of course, when I put something in my body, it still meets. And I lost five and a half kilograms in two weeks. And then one thing as well that I also noticed about carnivore diet, it is developing me muscles. And I haven't started exercising at all. 
I'm developing muscles. You guys, sooner or later, you are going to be seeing me all buffed up and you will think I'm lifting. No, I'm not lifting anything and I'm not taking any other supplements. I'm just eating meat. Then if you think about it as well, look at the carnivores. And I'm talking about the lion. Uh, you look at uh, dogs as well. Have you seen how muscular they are? Because they eat meat. All natural. Anyways, guys, let's go into the live chat and say hello to everybody that has entered. I see Cynthia is in the house. Sanbonani Malunga and the clan. How are you doing, Sylvia? Cynthia, sorry. Cynthia, thank you so much for being here. Then we have Tiani who says, as we wait for the productive self-expected discussions. Woo, yes, we are going to get there very soon because I've got a lot to say. Simpiwa says, hello. Hi, Simpiwa. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Sipume says, hi, Clancy's. Hello, Sipume. How are you doing? And then we're going to have uh, Nelly says, Sanbonani fam, hello from Instagram to here. <laughs> Sipokazi say, good afternoon, Clancy's. Scott is still in the <laughs> Thank you. We are here now. We are now here. And then we have Tati. Hello, family. Hi, Hugs to you too. Thank you so much for being here. Super relaxed. Hi, Sharon. We are here. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And then we have Annie. Annie, hello, clan. Hi, Annie. How are you doing? Debucho, afternoon. How are you doing, Debucho? Thank you so much for being here. And then we have um, Dalo Yenko. See, you are doing well, clan. Thank you so much. Without you guys, of course. I would not be here. Trust and believe me, I would have long gone in. Like, these people are not interested. Let me just continue with YouTube education like I was doing prior. But anyways, you guys came in your numbers. I don't know, guys, if you're also noticing, my channel is growing. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Tahila, hello. How are you doing? Me too for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. Nothing but just the meat, meat, meat. And I'm losing, if you think about it, it's all natural. I mean, I'm in Africa and our cows eat grass. They don't eat anything else but grass. So all of that stuff is just natural stuff. There's no any other stuff like carbs that are included or vegetables or whatever else. No, it's just meat. But I'm telling something, uh, you breakfast, I don't eat it anymore. I don't know because I think because the meat is still digest, digest, digesting and I will start falling hungry around half past three in the afternoon around, to about half past four late afternoon. Then I will eat for the first time since the previous half past four or five o'clock in the evening. So end up eating once in 24 hours. So that means I skipped uh, breakfast, I skipped lunch. And I'm only eating dinner. And the next time I'm going to eat dinner is going to be the following day. So this, uh, this sort of diet is also, I think, automatically includes intermittent fasting. Like, whoa, it's doing two things at the same time. Mudi, he uh, says, uh, hello, Francis, and the self-appointed experts. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, Dr. Wa, uh, what? Tadobao, Tadobao, hi, nice name. Uh, when a person pays Lobola, there is a proof of letter written and signed by two families. So why can't they ask that proof rather than wasting money paying the accountants? I think that is for the state because this is a state's case. And to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he did not have a, uh, what do you call it, traditional wedding on the, on the weekend of the 26th, then uh, he should be the one that uh, subpoenaed this letter, not the defense. If there was never such an event, the defense would withhold that. If there is, the defense will still hold, withhold that and then produce it at the right time. That's just how I am thinking about it. I don't know. I could be wrong. But because it's a state's case, I think it is their responsibility to subpoena such uh, information. Miss G, hello, Clancy's. Uh, what is BW Bot is this Botswana? Is it Botswana? Oh, I need to learn these abbreviations that are AI. Seriously, please let me know if I got it right or wrong. I think I got it wrong. 
Uh, Lucia says, we are within High Clan. How are you doing? Jen Born, yes, Huren. How are you doing, my brother from New York? How are you doing, bro? Good to see you. Waving back right at you. And then we have Ishmael, who says, good afternoon, clan. Good afternoon to you, too. What is BW, please? Oh, my goodness. I know I'm going to be embarrassed. I know I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> and then Mlambo says, hey, from the U.S. Hello. Where in the U.S. are you, Mlambo? Uh, Tati says, I hope you came with face tea. I did mention it in passing in one of the videos this week. And if I can remind you, because I can't necessarily say it out, because if I do on this channel, trust me, they will sue me and drag everything I got that what I don't have to Timbuktu. <laughs> I promise you they will. <laughs> if, even though it's true, but they will still be like, no, uh, let me just put it this way. I will improvise it. Whatever you suspect of him, bad or worse, chances are you are 100% correct. Let's leave it there. <laughs> That's the T, actually. That's the T. Uh, I can't specifically tell you what activities this individual was participating in as a police officer. All I know is that he is supposed to be arresting people that does the things that he was doing or he's doing, that type of thing. Whatever it is that you can think about, including, you know, yeah. Let's leave it there. <laughs> uh, I think I said too much. <laughs> I know, I know y'all don't forget. The members of the clan don't forget. They want the tea. And then Lambo says, I do intermittent fasting and have lost over 50 pounds in a year. Woo -hoo! Well done there. Well done. Um, 50 pounds, that will be, what, around 15 kilograms or something like that? Okay, I don't know how to use pounds. But anyways, I think it's around 15, 20 kilograms around there. But that's, that's great. I'm very proud of you for that. Very proud of you for that. Noni M Podcast, say hello from Cape Town. How are you doing? And your channel, congratulations. Woo, hitting 1,000 subscribers. Well done, well done, well done. This is the biggest milestone for any YouTuber. Every YouTuber, when they start their YouTube channel, they need to hit the first 1,000 subscribers. That's the biggest milestone that every one of us fight for as new YouTubers. So I'm so, so proud of you for hitting that milestone. Whether you have already hit it or almost there, you've hit it as far as I'm concerned. Because the last time when I checked, you were at 980 uh, subscribers. And that was yesterday. So I think overnight, you, you kind of got the 20, uh, I would say. Amelia says, hello, the clan. Hello, how are you doing? Noni and Podcast says, my clan family. Thank you. We soon will be part of your community. I wonder what you're going to call it. I cannot wait. And then Lambo says, Klein, what do you think about the possibility that the, uh, re, uh, the, oh, the redacted part in Moose's confession or confessing to being the shooter, which would go against the state case uh, of number three, being the shooter? I may be overthinking. I think uh, th this is my thinking. When I heard, because it's part of my notes, the, uh, the point, this, especially this particular point, the reduction. Is it reduction or reduce? <laughs> uh, redacted, yeah, it's a redacted statement. This is my take. I think this case is cooked, period. This case is cooked. And the people that were cooking the statements, and I would assume it is the investigating officer, whom shall not be, uh, shall be uh, named. You already know who that is. I think this person cooked the statement. And then when it went to Advocate Baloy, Baloy looked at it and said, mm -mm, this part is too far. Nobody is going to believe that. And then removed it. Why is it not being transparent about the, re the redacting the statements? 
So I think this whole trial within a trial, if the judge is a fair tra- uh, judge, he will dismiss this whole entire, in fact, not dismiss, he will not find the confessions to be admissible because you are dealing with people's lives. And on top of that, you are dealing with the law that is very strict when it comes to this part of the trial. And so I don't know, I think me, I think as a judge, I would ask myself, why was this omitted? For what reason? What was, I would want to go as far as knowing what was there originally, because we cannot have a prosecutor that comes every single time and there's something to edit. There's something to remove. There's something to be added. There's something, no. How credible is that statement at the end of the day? How credible was Zungu's statement to begin with when names were being shifted as if he was playing some chess game? No, 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 no. I, I'm sorry. That is just my take about that. Uh, and I don't think any uh, court in South Africa will find that amusing, let alone uh, grant the um, the order in favor of the state. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But we don't trust this judge. The judge is already showing signs that he is for the state. You know, I just forgot something. Let me fix it quickly. <laughs> uh, well, no, we'll continue talking. Like I said, the judge is, in this case, he is an unfair uh, judge. And uh, he's going to be prove, he's going to prove us right sooner or later. Sooner or later, he's going to prove us right that he is with the state. And I've seen many people say this judge has already taken a position about the, the, the guilt or innocence of these, uh, what do you call this, the accused. And I agree with that. I think he's taken a position and the position is guilty. Either he's already been told that, listen, you are going to find these individuals guilty. That's your job. And he's actually playing it out from what we are seeing. Yes, we are speculating. We are not saying these are facts before all that. How do you know? I, we don't know. But we're also using this and also using what we call eyes. And of course, this too, the accommodation is saying, um, you're not watching an unfair trial. I don't know if you noticed. You're watching an unfair trial. And we are watching an unfair trial. Period. Uh, Dynamite says, I love the short you did dancing uh, to re. <laughs> that took me a day to make. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> oh, that was so random. <laughs> uh, Mlambo, ooh, you're going to make me say this word. I, can't, I usually have a problem pronouncing it. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I know I always butcher this state. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay, that's great. Thank you. East Coast, right? Uh, let's see. Donny M Podcast says, I will join. Uh, I will join. I'm on my way home. I'm running late. No, it's cool. It's cool. I am going to leave the link when, if you, in case you want to come through, uh, please do come through. It, it, we are like, we know each other by now. We shouldn't be um, afraid of coming through anymore. So I'll leave the link. You can uh, call in and then we'll have a conversation. Let me know what was your highlight of the week regarding the Senzo Mayo murder trial. What do you think about the defense? Because I have an opinion about the defense too. But that is my last point in this life. I hope I'll get to say it <laughs> because I never get to say the things that I want to say on the live stream because uh, you guys take over it. Anyways, the live stream belongs to you guys. You get to ask me questions. We get to talk. And it's not always about Senzo Mayo. It's about other things as well that um, that we do. Uh, okay, I don't know. I want to minimize because I want to correct something. I don't know if I would. Let's see. If I disappear, uh, I don't think I'm going to disappear. Okay, the camera is still on. I just want to fix something quickly that I realize that if I don't fix it, I'm going to cry the end of the day. I hope not. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a sec. Please, please give me a sec. I will... Just a second. 
you know, South African second, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the South African second. I need to fix something that I just realized that I did not fix last night when I did this. Okay, where what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Where do I go? Okay, yeah, yeah. I go here and then I go. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I do not see it. Okay, no, it's here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. This is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing. It's a little bit okay. Okay, I think we are almost there. And then save, and then it is fixed. Okay, now I can come back to you. Now I can come back to you. Where are you? Here you are. Ah, hi, I'm back. <laughs> oh, you're still here? I just need to fix something I forgot on this live. I'm so sorry about this. Uh, let's continue with the greetings. Yvonne, hello, clan family. How are you doing, Yvonne? Good to see you here. Nico says, afternoon, did you get my messages on your Instagram? Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let me tell you something about my Instagram. It is The DM is a little bit full. Uh, because of, um, you know, I do YouTube education, right? So the YouTube education YouTubers, uh, they have lots of questions regarding the YouTube channels. And, uh, okay, the, it's I got about 300 DMs. I'll find it, by the way. I'll find it, and then I will respond to you. Uh, and, uh, did you did you send to Clancy's underscore Dumagute, right? Because that is my DM. Okay? Uh, I'll find it. I'll find it. And then Cynthia says, uh, no, you did not mention the T. I said to you, Zungu is a Guamini, but you kept quiet. Hmm, Tutugo, you're not fair. <laughs> and I'm saying it again. If you suspect the Uti, Zungu is Guamini, you could be correct. But I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> it's heavy. Let me, it, it's a heavy thing. It, it's heavy. Heavy. So I don't think it will be wise. I think even yourself, it's something that you might say, no, uh, don't do it. You know, uh, it, it's heavy. It's heavy. So whatever suspicions you may have about him, you are right. Chances are you are right. Shorty says, evening, everyone. How are you doing, Shorty? Thank you so much for coming through. Caroline says, hey, Clancy's. Hey, Clan. Only joining now. Everything from witnesses is cooked. It's all hogwash. I agree. Those we'll go to we'll get to Mboto. Is it Mboto? Mboto. Is it, yeah, Mboto. We'll get to him. We'll get to him because ah 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 ah. I, I, I no no no. You you know when you are retired. This is how I always imagined it. When you are retired, in my mind, I'm thinking you're around 65, uh, moving towards 70 and what, what, what. And now you are enjoying the last days of your life. Of course, we don't know how long that could be. Maybe it's another 60 years for all we know. But at least you are also preparing yourself. You know, when you meet the, your maker, you, when you meet your maker, whether that is true, if it, it, it does exist or it doesn't exist, but us, most of us here on earth believe that after here, we'll meet our makers. And then how are you going to meet your maker with knowing fully well that you've destroyed lives back where you come from? And how will that work for you with your maker? I, that's the thing that I'm trying to understand because I think personally, no, let's, let's deal with this because it's here. It's part of my, my point. Let's deal with this. I think the investigating officer, whom most of us keep hearing his name, may have went to as many people that he could to try and uh, have them do this confession uh, for accused number one and two. Maybe many said, uh -uh, I mean, I don't want to get into trouble. What if this does come to light that this was a lie? I don't want to ruin my reputation, my career, and things like that. Or the investigating officer went down and looked for the most corrupt cop, either corrupt back in the day or corrupt recently, 
and ended up retiring, bring that retiree back from retirement. Oh, okay, he was not retired in 2020, of course. But let's find let's find the most corrupt person who also has a um, access to sitting in a confession. Because I understand it's a magistrate and a judge that can do that because it's almost like a commission of inquiry from people that have told me about uh, sitting down in a confession that if only a magistrate or a judge can do so. Remember, he said that he showed the suspect his uh, letter of appointment or certificate of appointment that he is allowed to do what he's doing because he, as an officer of peace or peace or something like that, he also holds a, a magisterial uh, power or something like that. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, are you the only one in Gauteng that exists who lives so far apart? How many jurisdictions that you have to pass to get to Dikluf? And is he the only one that exists in Gauteng, is my question. I don't think so. Why couldn't they have gone to a magistrate? Why couldn't they have gone to a judge and did this particular exercise? But no, they went and got somebody and they had to drive miles to the other side of Gauteng to get this confession. And I think this person, this is my opinion. If you are watching, it's my opinion. But I still think you need to make your amends with your makeup before you meet him. So all I'm saying is that I suspect that that particular witness may, well, may have had something that the investigating officer had on him and said, you're going to do this, whether you like it or not. We're going to beat the living daylight out of our suspect and you are going to deny it to understand. All you do is tell what needs to be told according to the book, the law. We know how our subs work, people. We all know how our subs work. We have family members who've come across this type of treatment, falsely accused or maybe they are guilty, but how they were treated first, atrocious, atrocious. And then this particular individual that was on the stand, he's an apartheid police. Yes, he may still have been a police officer in the democratic dispensation, but mostly his mentality is uh, the special force type of mentality. Torture that he may have learned in the 80s and in the early 90s prior to 1994. Maybe he's the one who said uh, the best uh, way of getting a confession out of a person innocent or guilty is suffocation. You lock, uh, you handcuff them from the back of their hands, make sure that the handcuffs are as tight as possible so that when they try to twitch, they may even dislocate the, uh, their shoulders. And then that pain is going to force them to make the confession, whether it's true or not true. I think that's how the apartheid special force police worked. That's how I think they worked. And he's the mastermind in that type of torture. That is just my suspicion. I was sitting and I was thinking about it and I saw a comment as well that was, that said something along the same lines as me. And I was like, oh, so I'm not the only one who's thinking like this. Hmm. So I think this, uh, because it makes no sense. It makes no sense that he's the only one in Gauteng that could have performed that exercise. Why that exercise was not performed in Ekuruleni? Why this exercise was not performed at least, at least at Johannesburg Central Police Station? And another question that I'm asking myself, why, okay, wait, let me put it this way. Are South African police stations equipped with an interrogation room with the infrastructure that is going to make the process in there credible in court? Like you have camera recording and you have audio recording and then you have somebody also writing in uh, what you call this, the, the statements or admission or confession or the interrogation itself. Why is it done in an office and why this particular um person, Mboto, did not bring at least some kind of recordings. Why was it have to be somebody that's going to write that statement down? I don't believe such a person existed because he kept using the words I, we, he would remember to use we, and then he would go back to I, 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 and then he would say we, because who is I and who is we? And I'm telling you that he wants to say the we is the other officer that was writing the statement down or the confession. 
but he keeps forgetting to say we and he kept saying i i that means he already came with the statement written all that he had uh that needs to be done by the accused was to sign it as per what the uh the, uh, the, the accused are saying that no i was not told the pre-questions that i was uh are supposed to be asked and read and also told my rights the police, uh, what do you call this, uh, South African police, if you went to a South African police right now on the street, I challenge you to do that. If you know a, a police officer in your family, just go to them and say, hey, Malume, my brother, can you recite me the uh, the Section 35 of the Constitution? Because this is something they're supposed to know by hand, especially the part about your right to remain silent. Tell them to say to you and probably Google it, Google Section 35, that particular section, and read as they tell you. I'm telling you, they will not tell you exactly what it says because that's how exactly they need to tell a suspect. In those words, exact words, you do not add, you do not subtract any of the words that are written there. I challenge you to do that. Come back uh, maybe on Monday. Let's discuss it in the comments. Let's discuss in the comments. You don't have to mention the person that is a police officer that you know from your family. You will see what I'm trying to say here. Those guys, they don't know those rights. So now how would they tell a suspect the rights when they don't know what the rights itself say? We saw one of the police, I can't remember which police officer, I think it was the arresting officer for uh, accused number three when they went to collect his gun at his, uh, at his room. He, he was making his own stories about that right. He was mixed masala in that, that, that right. So clearly he did not read it out to uh, accused number three. That is just me and my two IQs and my self-appointed expert opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where were we? Uh, Karen says, I like how you call him, how you call him Tutugo. I like that name more. <laughs> that one is it's, okay. Uh, okay. No, I like with that name myself. But the thing is, what I said is I divided, I got three names, actually. I divided these names accordingly or according to how I think the public, YouTube, as well as other parts of my life should actually uh, call me. You know, I think I did say it in a video and somebody asked if I have a native name. Okay, let's go to Margaret. Margaret, hi fam. Hello, Margaret. How are you doing? Uh, Tati says the problem with Rata is that he doesn't listen. He listens to respond, not to understand. I think it's the old syndrome thing, you know, where he thinks he knows better than everybody. Oh my gosh, did you see how he acted unprofessionally yesterday when he lost his cool and told Advocate Dimitri to sit down? Yes, I understand. Advocate Dimitri should not have said what he said, especially when he said this trial cannot go on. He does not have that right. The judge does. I agree with the judge when he said, no, 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 no. Only I can make that determination, not you. I agree on that one. But the way he delivered it with such disrespect, such disdain, such disgust, such... He was just with hatred. You know, I could see that Advocate Nisi wanted to say something, but I was like in my mind, sit down, just sit down, Advocate Nisi, because you do not want to jeopardize your, um, what you call this, you don't want to jeopardize your, your, your client because of this judge who just lost his cool and acted completely unprofessional. He was so unprofessional at that point. Yeah. But, you know, was I surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. Not at all. Hey, Faith, you put me in trouble, girl. <laughs> I'm still on my crutches. Yes, still, you're still on your crutches. <laughs> People want the tea. You, you the whole week, <laughs> my DM no, is they... on tea. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> before, before you go any further, no, wanna... um. Before you say something, I want to be a message to my people in Durban in particular. People in Durban, this is Aquile, not Aquili. Okay? Aquile. Okay, no, no. It's Aquili. Before I get into trouble. Aquile, Aquili. 
Okay, yes, wait. Go on. <laughs> I'll just be messy. Eh, eh, when do to go? Yeah, these are man's the aquile, the aquile. Eh. The first time when I heard my nephew, who's about like 19 years old, he's like, Manume, when you go to town, can you please bring me a bottle of Aquili? And I'm like, what is that? Aquili. Like, yeah. And I'm like, explain what is that? He's like, no. Um, he she's like, no, it's, it's my nephew, right? Nephew is a, is a guy. Yeah, it's a guy. He's like, yes. uh, the, the flavored water. I'm like, you mean Aquile? <laughs> No, like, darling. Remember, you you are a coconut. Okay. Ye are queerly. Ye are queerly. Nay, ye are queerly. On top of the E. Eh. Eh, ye are queerly. If there was no Captain Jay, I would have said you are correct. It's a queerly. Yes. <laughs> what did you say? Whatever. Feel? Yeah, eh? Hey, hey, oh, yeah, okay. Mrs. You are having a bad network. Yeah, hey, uh, is it me or your side? Probably it's me. I don't probably know. I'm not sure, but I'm not. Probably me. I'm not. I'm not load shedding because you are the one who was frozen on the other side. Who is it? What yeah, are what a week. Woo. Tell me about it. What, a, what are your thoughts? Well, you know what? I am so um, exhausted. This case is just exhausting. It's like a deja vu. It's, uh, you know, and me, the judge, me, you and the judge. Were you not angry at the, Did you feel a sense I was, of defeat? I, I was. I was so, I was, you for know, the first time, for the first time, I felt defeated. I was, I was so upset. I'm looking at this judge talking about the constitution after he had read the constitutional book after he had read everything he's yeah. just like diverting and uh, saying something else i was like oh, yes after he read that he does something else and how <laughs> down he spoke you know how down and low he spoke to Ramosipili, and then I just felt like Ramosipili was defeated. He was like, I'm swimming against the water now. I'm, I'm swimming with you. the big fishes. I'm, I'm swimming hungry. against the water. The water is all over me. Oh my goodness. Was, I felt it. I felt many, I saw people's comments saying uh, Ramosipili did not do a great job. And I'm asking myself, <laughs> uh, I was asking some no. of them like, tell me, how are you going to feel? When you are if you are being... an adult this yes. way, yes. How, how are you going to feel? Because you'll be defeated too. Some people say he's lost an in, uh, interest in his clients. No, he no. realized that no. he's hitting a brick wall. Here he is a he is defending a client whom the judge has already made a ruling in his head. It's just in the beginning you know? of Yes, you, you know, Clintus, that judge is suffering from pull him or pull her down syndrome. You know, the PhD syndrome. And how are you going to perform if, if, if each and every time you are being pulled down, you are being talked down to? You know, when a small child, a child is here, you have to mm. talk down mm. to a child. And that's a mm. husband or somebody's father or somebody's uncle and all that. I and he's... To be defeated now, he took me back when it was before in Maumela. When Maumela mm. used to speak to people, hey, when I sit down, before I'm yeah. telling you, just sit down. I, I didn't and then you will say that, yes, you will say, I'm telling you, sit down, sit down, just like that. And then now, he, he you know, I was so triggered yesterday, his behavior was just uncalled for. And you know what, Glenn, just all I can say to wrap it up about this case, the food has been cooked, spiced. Yep. Yep. And then and it's about to be delicious now. Yeah. And people are being forced to eat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
feeling the way I am feeling because I was mad, mad. I, I was so I was so mad too. I even wanted to send you a message and say, Clantis, please come help me out here. I am just going so crazy. I was so flabbergasted. It was so disturbing. And what is it with this, um, uh, with uh, Baloyi and editing some of the states, some of the stuff and all that? He just reveals, I feel like he just reveals something that will shoot him at that time. That's yeah. all. But why would he just remove other, pa uh, other papers? Why right. would he do that? I was and the defense has a right to and the yes. defense has a right to ask for that and ask right. him questions but right. the judge keeps on putting it down i was even thinking of them why can't they just sign a proforma form and just request whatever information that is needed that is Wait, missing uh, because that's, yes where are those arrest statements he just removed them because it will suit him right i was speaking to some mm -hmm. lawyers then i'm gonna come to you just now I was speaking to some okay. lawyer who said, "Hello, Ben. How are you doing, Faith? This judge. I'm all right, is, thank you. <laughs> they said this judge he is indeed presiding over an unfair trial caused by him. They say he, yes. and now he at this point is at the point where he's like, you know what? Take me on review or take me to uh, CPA. And he actually said it to Advocate yes. Ramos CPA. He's like, you can take me on appeal." And yes, that, that attitude it means that he knows that he has messed up this trial and now he will just now be consistent with his mess that is why when yeah. important documents like arrest statement you cannot say mm -hmm. let's have the witness on the stand and then ask the witness on the stand about the arrest of the uh the accused when you don't have the arrest statement before because it's the arrest statement comes first before the witness because before. now you have to read from the arrest statement to question the witness mm. but no he's mm. doing the other way around apparently that is not even unusual it is not by law the judge is bringing it, the law himself it is unacceptable it is unacceptable it is very illegal and what yes. is upsetting me he keeps on referring to case laws after he had even read the book of the the constitutional book like this this judge is just all over and how he <laughs> and you know how he even questioned mr Mnisi with regards to his other case but why did he have to do that because because they are working now as a team they are working now as a team and those guys are five it's five of them they are representing those guys who were all tortured and forced to to do some statements and and whatever but now mm. he's questioning nisi and asking him a lot of these uh stupid questions I and his body that. language the facial expression yeah it, it's, it's a crazy. deja vu yeah, it is so crazy what's up, Dan? what's up Dan? how are you doing my brother hey. What's up, Clantis? How you Let's doing, Clan? What's up, everybody? Yeah, what's Good day to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chiming into the conversation, you know, and um, I want to add to it. One thing that I've noticed from um this judge, um, especially from this from the early days from from uh from when he got on, is that yeah. you got to take notice that every time there's a dispute or a back and forth, or every time when Beloy, uh, seemingly makes a point, um, you have to watch for when the judge is taking his notes because at the end of this trial, the judge is going to use everything he can. And we all know Beloy has no case, but the judge is going to muster everything from his notes um, at the end of the trial to try to um, justify something that we all feel he's going to do. Um, yeah. I'm just noticing, you know, like for me in my head, he's scribbling things down when it seems like he's going to come back with this thing later. The same way he, he makes his, his uh, preempted rulings you know, mm -hmm. um, I think those are dangerous and they're going to come back later. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I agree with you because I agree. I agree. I agree that the scribbling and the, the joy you see in his face when he's doing the scribbling. And, 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 and like, to prove that the point, moment the defense does stand up. He, because he worked so much into the state's favor and you have to yeah. see 
when you talk about jaw dropping, this is the case in point. When the DNA evidence came out that none of the accused on the dock had evidence on the scene, his his ex first of all his expression like it was all like a, a body reading analyst could tell you all that that it was disappointment. It was I'm it was so you know, ups right upset. I and, love, um, I'm laughing, but no, I don't yeah. Think and then the way he pried for any technicality whatsoever, because he was going to go right back to his notepad and, and the guy wouldn't give it to him. You know, the guy said, listen, you know, we can't make it so that these people were here. There's, there's nothing, you know, and I, I like, I fear a confession could override um, that DNA evidence. So this is what the, so, so pay very good mind to that, you know, and mm -hmm. I didn't catch that comment about the appeal that the judge said, but, that just notices that um he's he's paying attention to um to the court of public opinion because yeah, uh yeah. because we're already looking forward to post trial like because like I said to you before the defense mm -hmm. is going to have a stronger appeal case than this case right here that they're fighting in court as long mm -hmm. as they keep on um putting on on the record um right. instances where the judge is overreaching they have to keep doing that um as far as mm -hmm. processing goes if he's overstepping a process if something is like like this trial within a trial maybe another good one if mm -hmm. if um he's continuing with something that shouldn't um you know I, I didn't think it was a good idea i'm not a law expert i don't know if um doing all with that like i don't want to give the state anything they ask for so when you want to put all five into one trial within a trial. I wasn't sure about that at first, but I, I guess it, the defense was cool with that other way, but I don't want to give them anything because the judge is going to take it, you know, he's going to mm -hmm. take an inch to a mark, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. If it's the whole point of having a trial within granting that request, to me, was shocking. Mm -hmm. After hearing DNA results, after well, hearing DNA results, right. I was like, you are going to grant the state the request to have a trial within a trial after hearing, I was like, okay, maybe I'm missing something. Yes, I know we are not lawyers. We are not legal experts in any way, but logic dictates that if accused number one and two, the one now you want to take into uh, a trial within a trial, chances are, not even chances, it's clear. They were not there. It is. What are you, what, are you what, 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 what witch hunt are you on right now? That, he that, just wants he, I, I guess he just wants to I guess he just wants to prove a point because he should have stopped he should have just stopped the train there at a, a now mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and then and focus on other things but they want what they want I need to because my Peggy spice everything is there mm -hmm. I won't be surprised if the adjustment and everything else is concluded is always on his desk because how mm -hmm. he entertains Kaloi and his facial expression and his body language, it says a lot. The part that See? also made me laugh, the other yeah. part that made me laugh was him telling on himself about judge president saying this case is taking too long. And I'm like, I wonder why. I wonder I why. Wonder, I, I think I, judge I, president I, was telling I, him that he would cut this thing. See, yeah, he's yeah. using little comments like that for leverage against like, he's not dictating that to everyone. He's not dictating that to the state. He's saying right. that, yeah, as defense. if he's lecturing the right, as if he's lecturing right. them, but it's not like a direct, mm. yeah, and lecture. What did you think about the that, question he asked Nisi regarding him uh, not being present on Monday and Tuesday because he's going to be having a case on Wednesday? And says, did you tell that to JP? Does does I don't understand the protocol there. It's not <laughs> him. It's not uh, the, the advocate that needs to go to judge president. It is right. the lawyer that needs to tell this judge. And this judge goes to judge president and tell the judge president that this case is going to be delayed a little bit further because it's almost... one of the defense lawyers is going to be in court. Right. So he's like, no, jump me. And then when Nisi jumps him, he's going to come back on an open court and chastise him, Nisi, and say, but you did not make that application to me. Right. Because it's almost personal between Amnesi and the judge, the way the judge is making it. Yep. He's trying to contradict Amnesi by any means possible, by hook or crook, you see? Yep.
Yeah. Didn't appreciate that football comment too well last week. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I, I felt like he was getting too personal a little bit too personal with Minisi because Minisi will challenge each and everything which is their right as a defense to question each and everything and the missing of the pages and missing of the stuff and everything else because like he's just trying to pull the defense like to break them and I am glad that they are working as a team they are like mm -hmm. a team but, and they are working together. And mm -hmm. Nisi is just unbreakable. Whoever says some right. negative stuff about Steve, Steve, Steve is you. doing his job, but See, he's uh, being affected by the judge. That's this is all. What's How he, Give me a second. Is Steve, I'm what sorry. Is I he's making that. Steve, on my side, he says your device is not connected. So connect your mic Mine. or your camera. And then you, I'll be Mine. able to hear you. No, no, no. Uh, Me. Sipo. Sipo. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Sipo, if you want to come through, either turn on your mic or turn hey, on Noni. your camera. All right. Hi, Noni. Your microphone is off. It is off. Hi, guys. How are you going to do? Hi, what's up? Good, thank you. Hi, Faith. Yeah. I must watch her. I must watch her podcast. Actually, she's great. I, I can tell you that. <laughs> I will. I will. Clancy, if I could just add on to what you were saying, real quick. Um, the judge knows what's happening because if Amnesi wasn't probably the most um competent of the bunch, mm -hmm. he knows that he's the most forward and the most competent. So he's attacking him. He's bringing him down. So the reason why people are attacking Steve-O now is because they see that those two, when they're together, they kind of play off of each other. They sit next to each other. They they they, they know the game plan, you see. So now the judge is trying to take these two down because, you know, they're the ones that are making, see, everything that they're doing, they're making circumstantial evidence stronger and stronger to the um against the state. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what the judge is doing, um, almost to the point where it's becoming obvious because it's beginning it's becoming personal between him and Amnesi, but yeah. but that's yeah. what he's doing. And and the thing about the trial yeah. within the trial, I, I wouldn't share at first. I, I wouldn't share at first who it would benefit, but you know what, if that's what the state wants, if they're gonna go ahead, then let them have it because mm. it seems like everything that they do, it always comes out to bite them in, at the end in the last minute. And it's something that they have to accept. So somebody mm. comes and says, it's listen, right. The, the mm -hmm. accused are, you know, they're they're excluded from this evidence. That you know, so something always bites them in the ass. So I think this right. trial within the trial, something might come out of it that um yeah. that may seal this so-called confession deal completely up. Right, it, that's all I have left. Mm -hmm. The the false confession and, and the DNA evidence, and there's nothing else. And it's gonna admit it. Uh, that's what they're going to do. That. They are. They just have. To, they just have to admit everything. But another thing: why is this Gininda's name? Gininda. Gininda's name is appearing each and every time. Mm. They need to bring. They need to bring Gininda. They need to you bring know, Gininda. Up. <laughs> but it's gonna be difficult to bring him on. It's gonna so be why difficult. Is him? I'm why is it delaying him? Why is it delaying him? Understand? Yeah. Absolutely. Why is it delaying him? Understand? Because it's a big. Because he's a big guy. Maybe Zungu must go and fetch him. Maybe Zungu must go and fetch him. Then, okay, yeah. Let's, let's hear from Noni. What's up, girl? <laughs> What's on your mind? You know what? What's on your what mind, I think whenever I hear Gininda, what you Do you know what I think whenever I hear Gininda's name, guys? Do you remember oh. Obaba um, Ujek? He said, baby. Mm. Do we you do. guys remember Ujek? He said, baby. Jake yeah. is mm -hmm. exactly like Gininda. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember him? I remember him. can the things and make the things happen, but, but he must remember Jake is a lady. Jake is a lady used to think that he's a big guy. And then what mm -hmm. happened to him? So I am not even, I'm not even worried about Kenita. Mm. Anyway, guys, let me but, give you what I thought. Yes, yes, please. 
Go ahead. So for me, guys, when of let's let's start with Ramza R Rama Super for me, guys. The only thing that God to him and he needs over this weekend to get over it very fast. Ne? It was how he was dealt dead. Forget the judge. Let's go to Baloy, how he treated him. They had an agreement that this trial within a trial the is going to start on the 1st or 2nd of November. Then yeah. now, all of a sudden, he comes back and he's starting it. And then did you hear, Rabosipele was like, we're starting here right now already? He was shocked. And after that incident, he, I think for me, it was his first time to realize that what kind of a man is Baloyi. That was his first time. And right now, he's still there. He's feeling betrayed. He's shocked. He can't get over it. How can this man do this to me after we had an agreement? So and it showed, he showed him some snaky behavior. And there, it showed and he him. Not, was, it is, not um, at all. So that's why the was the first place, he, he was feeling the way he was like out. That's why he felt out and it felt like he was not doing enough. And also for me, on, on Friday, he did well. He gave these cops enough time to rope themselves so that when he comes back with the family members of these guys, I choose one and two, when they start to sing that Gininda was there, he said ABCD, it will link to the story that these two accused are saying they were beaten mm. up. And the other mm. part that really shocked me was when the judge was asking um, Boto. And guys, when Boto started speaking, I was like, what in the what in the Gwede Mandashe is this now? Who's this Gwede Mandashe talking here? He sounded like Gwede Mandashe. But, uh, and then uh, when when he, he was talking and telling us what happened, etc., etc., and I was like, like, there is no cop who will come on board and say, I agree, we beat someone, we did this, we did that, we, there is no cop who will do that, guys, come on now. So I why know. is he saying, no, that's not true, that's not how it happened, etc.? No, he can say that, but I believe this guy is doing enough to make sure that this one rope himself up, and when he comes back with his own witnesses within this trial, in within a trial, then that's when things will be clear. That's when we will see who this judge is for real. We will stop right. speculating once Ramasipele brings his own people for this trial of these two guys. Once he brings them and then they start giving evidence that counter acts these ones that they are saying that they did things very well. There was right. there was no one who was beaten up, etc. Then after that, we will know for a fact where mm -hmm. this judge is. Yep. Yeah, right now we are still it. speculating but once you that thing it. once the family the father the mother the wife of bongani dance come and say they because there is no way we are still shocked as south africans how can someone because we know if you get arrested in cape town you will be in cape town and you will call your family in eastern cape and tell them i'm at this police station i'm arrested they moved me to prison so and so there is no way police from Cape Town can take me to Eastern Cape to tell my people that I'm arrested. What nonsense is that? <laughs> yeah. What nonsense is that? It exactly. has never happened. Why now? And if you guys remember, they mentioned in court that one of the police that was there in Tembisa when I choose one was arrested is Bongani. Guess who's Bongani is? Bongani is Gininda's name. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and he did tell, he did say that uh, he was not brought by one police officer, Metro Police. The ninja's name was popped up in there. So, yeah, I believe and that. And they act as if he was that. not there. I think, okay, right. okay, let me say, I think they said his name is Bongani Kininda. I think, I think, I think his name, they said it's Bongani Kininda. But I, right. I, I think it's him that, that they are referring to. And lastly, mm. before I, I, I give, give back the mic, uh, also the Metro Police situation. How do they even link? Because they work for municipality. How do they? Exactly. Why is he called? Was I oh, choose one armed when they went? Yes, was I choose one armed when they went to fetch him? Why right. did they bring so many cars? What for? Did someone go there and found him armed for them to feel that they are in danger? They need a lot of cars. Why were they doing that? Because he was oh. Kininda was using tactics of making him scared and not give him a chance to do anything. So they must not think we, we are stupid. We, we can see mm. the nonsense that is happening. Yes, these guys are guilty for other crimes, but yeah. for this one, we want the real culprit. Yep, exactly. Thank Money you for you. What's up, bro? Good evening, family. 
how are you guys i've just get into the train now i don't know if maybe i'm gonna repeat some of the stuff that you guys have already mentioned and stuff Go it's on. very much cool. interesting. Shot, bro yeah <laughs> uh, me cool. me and the technology we don't go hand in hand but i'm glad that i managed to join the technology. technology you're here and these these things that i'm doing is first time i'm doing in this stuff <laughs> thanks <laughs> to you mr Clantis. <laughs> yeah thanks 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 to you mr Clantis. guys man i am you see, I, I I don't know much about the law. I'm also learning stuff that I've asked now, the stuff I'm unfolding in court. But as you listen to the confession, I there's no way that this guy can kill Senzo. I want to take you guys back to the confession, uh, to the testimony that was led by doctors, doctor, that other expert of the doctor. Yes. If you take the measurements, if you take the measurements as the doctor as, as the doctor was saying. Right. You need somebody higher than 1.2 meter, right? To shoot, to shoot at that angle that the doctor elaborate, right? Then that guy, if you see that guy, he's more or less the same as the height of the sensor. It yes. cannot be that is the one that shot the sensor, right? And secondly, if now there was no fingerprints lifted there or the DNA lifted of those guys in the scene. How come he can say that he he he's the one that kills him? Right. And if now this judge, the way I see him, I it looks like he really the way he's questioning the witnesses, it's like I believe you. These ones yeah. I don't believe them. And right. the way he's saying, I don't know what whether is it allowed in court the judge to show the annoyance or the anger towards the defense. Or must he just keep it to himself so that he can be all the time neutral, so that we cannot come and say he, he is biased, he doesn't uh, conduct this trial as at mm. a fair at a fair space or what? You understand? And you, so, you but use a very important word there, neutral. When you are neutral, you have a poker face. You, nobody yes. should know whether you're this side or this side. You are straight, and then if you have question of clarity. Again, you still have a poker face, whether on the, the defense or on the state. Yes. And what is irritating me about this judge is because he, he, he doesn't give the defense a chance to, 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 to relay their questions or put their, their version completely so that if he disagree or don't disagree, at least he had the point where this defense was driving to. Right. I like the way Miss is standing against this judge. With, with Mr. Steve, Mr. Steve, you can see it is in his nature not to be aggressive. Mm. It's just a calm, quiet guy mm. that mm. he gives too much respect to the judge. Even if they just interject him, you can see now he's becoming now unsettled and he's no longer delivering the angle or the point that he was delivering there. It's right. just now changes now because this judge is intercepting and then he, 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 he kind of like course, distract yeah. him to, to, to take him where he wants to be. And now he's now we have to now channel his his uh, his um, his defense or his uh, chain of thoughts. Yes, channel of thought to the way yeah. the judge want 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 him to be. You cannot be as a judge to be an answer. No matter how slow I can be to get to mm. the point where I want to be as a neutral mm. person, just keep quiet and listen. Right. I will not say you must not interject and also guide the defense or the law. The way Mr. That Palo is, is doing, I guys, I'm I'm still trying to figure out my thought and the orders, but Buggery. at least I'm learning something. And thanks, Mr. Uh, Clantis. Anyway, to update us with everything. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. I, I enjoy it as well. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yes, yes. No, thanks, guys, man. I'm just yeah, listening. That's, that. that's what that's all, man. I want to put it forward to the family, to the client. Right. Man. Yes, yeah. the self-appointed experts. <laughs> Self appointed exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and you just did your first <laughs> live. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Danny, what did you say something? Guys, can I make a comment regarding the judge? I, I... Mm. can i make okay, a comment we'll regarding on. the judge guys do you think the judge because of his 50 years experience do you think because i don't know for some weird reason i'm sensing some vibes of him behaving like the upper third time because the I way he does not want to be told or 
asked anything. The way he will come and because for me, I, I I heard you, Francis, when you say Mnisi was not supposed to say no. The trial will not continue. He was not referring to the judge when he was saying yeah. that. Me, well, my understanding for me, in fact, was Why? that he was referring to a way that you cannot be forcing for the trial to start, but you are still not giving me the documents that I'm asking for. Where is the arrest right. statement? Where is the warning statement, etc., etc.? Yet, when you are busy pushing that, let's continue with the trial, you will get them later and you want to explain. Why are you explaining things? That's when Mrs. Mouth and Head was not like but the entire trial within a trial is not going to start. What he meant at that moment, Baloy, you were given an order and this is what we need. Can we get that first before we start? Mm -hmm. That's why the judge, mm -hmm. that's why that judge is always, there was someone who commented and say, the judge is always ready to, he listens and responds, not listen and understands. He is intentional. That man is very intelligent, guys. He is mm -hmm. intentional when he does that, of um, I will listen and not, I will listen and not understand you. Intentional. He, 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 he set himself for that when it comes to defense. Because when it's Baloy, he, he even asks him questions again to make sure that he understands. He does mm -hmm. When he does that, finally, when it comes to defense, he gets agitated. If not, he is mm -hmm. impatient. And then he will be like, yeah, 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 sure, I got... But that's not what they ask. That's why Missy is where he is today. Mm -hmm. Because initially, in himself, he was respecting the judge. He is sick and tired of that man right now. Oh, and the other oh. part that I suspected, guys, did you, did you remember when he was taking notes, asking about the other kids? What case, guys, do you think that was like wise for Missy to speak about that there? Because now I felt like this judge is going to report him that you double booked yourself. <laughs> why 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 are you not here blah 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 i i i i like it it was very sinister for me he wanted details of the case why didn't why was it not enough that i'm not gonna be here there's a case and then he requested details and started writing down i was like and he was writing down, down. that's the thing i was wondering why are you writing down what this is telling you I was like, that's so very weird for me. Mm. But I don't know, maybe we will hear, we will see. Because <laughs> I well, didn't the trust that. The always uh, reveal itself at the end. On the thing, let me say something. When um, Amnesi was saying this thing can continue, I, I think he wasn't talking about the entire trial, like many of you are saying. I think he was particularly pertaining to the trial within a trial. Like he was saying, like, that mustn't, con yes. um, that mustn't start yes. right now. And I think... Part of that, or mostly, is because he was aware that Ramasapili wasn't fully prepared because there was an understanding that it would start much later. So I think, and and on the brother's point, uh, Malifi, I agree with everything he said. I only disagree with a small part. I don't think that Ramasapili is so timid like you're saying. I think he's actually the opposite. I think he has respect for the the sensitivity of this case. And I think if you look at the, at, the, at his expressions and everything, like everybody else, he looks very serious. He looks very no nonsense. But I think he, if you don't understand, like these are all professionals. I think the four of them have chosen their guy to challenge the judge. All four of them can't get on their feet and challenge the judge one after you know, um, one after another. I think they've they've agreed that Amici is going to be. That mm -hmm. that kettle, that I think kettle, that no, you can kettle. go ahead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, um, yeah. So I think they they chose Amnesty because he's doing a fine job with that anyway. So, so I don't think he's being timid and anything like that. And I think the reason why it seemed like Ramsey was unprepared is because there was an understanding that they would start the trial within the trial later. But then Beloy did you know a little sly thing to kind of get it started, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine if you and I had an agreement that we're going to start this important mm -hmm. phase of the trial on this particular mm -hmm. day. And then, of course, I'm going to relax, thinking, okay, I will prepare right. towards the near, uh, near towards the uh, that date. And then you come and you pull a fast one. Of course, I'm going to sound unprepared, just like Ramos Sipile sounded and looked so unprepared. Why? Mm -hmm. Because Baloy, the snake, knew that this was going to happen because he wants to get this confession admitted. At least one of the two uh, uh, confessions must be admitted because he knew we were going into the weekend. So uh, Ramasipili is going to be able to compose himself for accused number two. It's right, crazy. I agree. It's crazy. Mm. 
What we are watching yeah. is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Uh, uh, there's a question that I wanted to ask about yesterday. Uh, the timing. You arrest a person today and you go and get them into interrogation room today. And this person tells you, I have a lawyer. How does that work? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, my two cents is generally when somebody says they want their lawyer, then that means they're not talking and the police aren't supposed to uh, interrogate anymore. You know, so yeah. if, a, if a cop admits that that um, the the suspect has requested their lawyer, then that means that they've said nothing and they, they've wanted to say nothing. And yeah. And secondly, secondly, uh, suspect number one at the time, his handcuffs were too tight. And then this witness, Mboto, says that I did see that his hands were swollen from the handcuffs. Should he have not continued with whatever the exercise was and taken him to the hospital or to a doctor for examination? Why didn't he do that? Because the, the law says the moment there is some kind of discomfort in the suspect, you should not proceed with that exercise. Get him to the hospital yeah. or to a doctor. Get a doctor's report that he's okay and now ready for that exercise to continue. But no, he went ahead which to me kind of tells me that what suspect number one, which is accused number one right now, is correct to say that he was tortured. When he was tortured with a plastic uh, over his face or with the handcuffs being too tight, that's still torture. Because blood flow in the wrist, you know when people commit the S word, they cut off their wrists. So now if you have this part tied, something psychologically is also going on inside of you. Mm. So how fair is this so-called confession if it's admitted into the records? You see, I, I, you I, see, Mr. Yep, go ahead. You see, Mr. Mr. Clantis, it is very strange that a person, like you said, is get arrested around midday, and about almost midnight, we make a confession. Now you are sitting there as a sober person. And I like the first question that Mr. Ramsipid is asking. He said, how was the demeanor of this person? Mm. Now, was that person, was that accused number one supposed to tell you, look, can you uncuff me? This thing, they are very, are making me uncomfortable. They are hating me. Mm. Now, again, you still go ahead and uncuff these things and you still take the statement or you, you still go ahead with the confession. Isn't that warrant enough to say, this person is really in pain. He just want to get thing, this thing get done and finished no, so that he can yeah. get off this pain. You right. say? And and normally when when you get this this type of confessions, it's whereby now if all the all of the accused they plan these things and there's the mastermind behind, and they or they will all they will always agree behind their backs. Should anything happens, one mm. must take the fall. <laughs> one right. must take the fall. Then yeah. you, you will get it. If they were all in this thing together and they plan it from the way to go, then to, to, to do what? To hide the mastermind as their boss. But the way the confession has been done, it is also questionable for me, but no man. It can be. This guy is, is being arrested maybe to, from, uh, from other cases. He knows the drill as to what, what happened when you do confession when you get arrested. And yet the person is still saying, I need a lawyer, but still right. you, you overlook that. You still go ahead and admit that person into confession as the, as, as of it. And that again, it also proved that, you know, this guy really indeed was, was tortured. Now my, my question uh, in, this, in this confession statement and all that, you get these three questions for my thing. Isn't it after that you need to elaborate now how did you manage to kill this person or commit this crime so mm. that you can we can see whether this this what you are saying from the pre questions that you are answering and to the detail form whether they are correlating or whether they are corresponding with, with each other is it isn't it supposed to be like that no. or are we still gonna go to to get to that part whereby now 
he will have to narrate properly as well. How did you commit this crime? After now, mm. he answered those three questions. That's true. And I also found it interesting that his opening statement was, why Why are you arrested? And he says, for shooting someone. And then usually Baloy will say, no, no, don't get into details with things like that. But he kept quiet. Only the judge stood and said, uh, no, that is self-incriminating. We will expunge that from the records. So did they why say Baloy that... Can... I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead, Dan. No, I was just going to ask, did... Did anyone say that these confessions were um, uh, written? Because I heard the judge say that in that law, the um, a confession must be um, only accepted if it was um, written. So was it written also, yeah. or are they just saying these were verbal confessions? It was written. Oh. Because uh, accused number one says that this particular witness walked in with a, a document and told him to sign, just sign here. And if he doesn't sign, it's right. going to lead him to the, the people that are going to continue beating him. Okay, like a pre-written confession or something like that. So recording. I have an issue with that. I, I have a huge issue with that. Whether it's uh, on camera or on this, uh, what do you call this, tape recorders, I have an issue with that. Because how do we know that everything that this witness is saying is credible? Why don't they have? Because uh, I'm thinking the infrastructure inside an interrogation room should have a camera, or also audio. Because those are the things that you use in court as evidence. Why Nisi, I'm not Nisi, Ramos did not ask for the cameras and things like that. In why was it done in an office? I don't understand that because police uh, stations should be equipped with all equipment that are going to make a case credible. Not only the witness a word, because to me it sounds like he said he said. That, that's how it sounds like to me. Uh, Mr. Clantis, uh, you see, after after that incident, I I I kind of like went into the rabbit hole, like you normally say, rub my little two I choose or dig deep down as to what is actually the process is that. Uh, from what I heard, I'm not sure. I still have to be confirmed. It, mm -hmm. it seems like uh, the confessions like this, they do happen in the station level. Okay. And some sometimes if you get arrested, I don't know much about that area, Post Loras, whatever area. Say you are arrested in Cape Town. Since now I'm in Cape Town. You are arrested mm -hmm. in Cape Town, um, right, CPT. Now mm -hmm. maybe they will arrange with the station at um, Salt River maybe. Right. So that they will get this this neutral person to come and and administer this confession or take this this confession. Mm -hmm. But the, like you said, the, the problem that I have with this thing is when you get arrested, especially in a in a case of a murder, right. first appearance is do you have a lawyer? Then if you stay and say no, I don't have a lawyer, but I will I will talk to myself, the judge will advise you say this case is very serious you cannot take it like i advise you to go and seek a lawyer now somebody walks in and say i want to make a confession this guy as now he was testifying i don't know whether then is a captain or what i don't know this ranks but now mm -hmm. the person is coming to testify with something that at the end at the end of the day is gonna destroy the entire life of him it's gonna maybe spend almost the two life sentences, whatever, and all that. Now that person say, I come, I want to make a confession. I'm the one that killed. You don't even want that person. Look, please go and talk to your lawyer. Can we call right. your lawyer now? So right. that at least when you confess, it's not gonna be my weight against you. At least you'll be well represented. Exactly. Isn't it supposed to be like that? If the judge in court they can advise you as the accused to seek for the lawyer how come these people Bona, they were not even uh, afforded that opportunity to go and seek even the state lawyer then to come and listen to this mm. confession like as i said there is no way any of us sitting here will uh, be arrested for murder and then we walk into something like this and we are asked if we need a lawyer and we say no no I don't need, unless you went to law school, 
and you know the tricks and uh, all that stuff that you can actually defend yourself because you do have that right to represent yourself. But uh. you are nowhere near this. How is it possible? Is what I want to know. And also the other thing that I, it did not make sense for me is the judge not uh, sounding like he doesn't believe uh, I choose one's version of events. When he yes. started asking questions that are sounding as if he's like, I don't believe what you are saying. I believe yes. this uh, mortal person. Because yes. from this guy was arrested after noon. How come he gets to him at, uh, he gets a call at 7 p.m to mm -hmm. go and do the statement as a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. come he gets to him at quarter to 10 p.m.? What was happening uh, from the afternoon? Afternoon starts at 12, right? So yeah, from 12 yeah. o'clock, let's assume, from 12 o'clock yeah. up until 7 p.m. and from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m., what was happening to the guy? What were they doing to him? Where was he held? Where was he? Why also, why also? Mm -hmm. We are not hearing something that says he moved from Tembisa, the township he was in, to Tembisa Police Station. Why is there so many stops where he moved according to his version? He moved okay. from Tembisa to so and so, and it's about three places before getting yeah. to Deep Cove. So, okay. what was happening there? What was happening there? And then and the after that, the, 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 the Munaren guy who is a metropolis says after Deep Kloof, he took him to Pretoria to do what when he was arrested? Why is he not taken to Fos Loras then, mm. for instance? Yes. Because that's what where, where happened. This happened. Yes. yes. Yeah, there's, there's a mess in this, and the lies are so obvious. The lies are so obvious. And mm. I still think that the mastermind, the, the guy, um, Boto. He's been writing statements all his life, 1986 to now. He knows how to manipulate this thing, as far as I, I, I think. And then he also knows how to abstract a confession out of an innocent person because he was a police cop during the special force during the apartheid era. And he's bringing it into this dispensation. And of course, you will get a confession, even from me too. Mina, I do not have tolerance for pain. You can twist my arm. I'll say, yes, I did it. No, if only I didn't do anything. I'll say, yes, because I want the pain to stop. Mm. So, I don't know. Guys. Yeah. And the other thing that we must also think of, mostly, they want us to believe there's a mastermind. The only person they want us to believe as a mastermind also is Kelly Kumalo. At that time, Kelly Kumalo was broke, was broke like us. He, Kelly Kumalo is only having money after mm -hmm. Senzo died, guys. Yep. He, she's only, her career is only booming then. It's booming. Yeah. We knew of her. She came and she became, yes, big and brand name. But she was not that big because there was that era where she was busy with drugs and mm -hmm. things dropped. Then... After Senzo died, she cleaned up. I think she was cleaning up while she was with Senzo. She started yes. cleaning up. And then she I cleaned up even more man. after Senzo died. She yes. she did not. She cleaned up herself. Then now, only now, Kenny Kumalo, we can say she's managed. She is managed, you can see right now. But yes. then, I don't think she had money to hire people. I, 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 don't, I, I don't, I think also she don't believe in the hitman mm -hmm. story. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I I'm don't. not convinced. I'm not, not at all. They yeah, must give me reasons to believe there were people that entered the house. Yeah. 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 But they already yeah. ruled that, that theory out anyway, right? What was that? They ruled that theory out anyway. When um, yeah. when um, Michelolo actually brought that up to, um, yeah. yeah, to abstain her, I mean, yeah, to exclude her client. Right. right. So they, I don't know, they can't bring that up. But if there's a mastermind, there's a mastermind in terms of cover-ups not in, in terms of uh, a hitman yeah. you see i agree and i'll tell you someone true. that i think that that's true. Uh, this mess is being cleaned to not to embarrass the state this all this is happening because not to embarrass the state the state messed up this case from the word go only right. now they're releasing yeah. information what happened in 2014 why all this information was not collected in 2014 now we're only having people doing things in 2019 2018 five years later six years later hey, to me that doesn't make sense it really doesn't well guys i think uh i we've squeezed this as far as we could on yeah. the uh on the live 
I just want to go back to the live chats and then I close around quarter two. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, for before before be, before you go dead, Mr. Atlantis. Uh, yes. Before before you go there, Mr. Atlantis. I just yes. want to get into that question that you pose. You don't you 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 still need to understand where does the metropolis comes in? Yes. Into the whole thing. Um, normally, what usually happen is they call it sting operation. Yes. When they say sting operation, that's where now they call all the security clusters you oh, okay. get your dog unit you don't you get your dog unit from the subs you got the subs you get a dog unit from the metropolis you get the, the securities from the metropolis you get a, a um, dog unit from the correctional services you get security from correctional services and it kind of like says to to me what the accused now one says it kind of like saying it was it is it is correct because say you say the motorcade of the cars parking next to the tech shop and the next thing it was arrested with a lot of cars and everything mm. then it says now on that day they were they were on a mission to arrest somebody right so that's why now they had to call all the other security classes to assist them but i don't get it again when this guy says they are they since now is is from the SWAT team, the only duties that they perform is to come uh, to escort the so high profile people or to secure guard these so high profile people. Uh, Mr. Ramsipit, when he was he was asking that guy, he said one of the people that were there. He mentioned that the name Monare. Little did mm. we know that the next person that is gonna come is gonna be Monare. As that guy said, no, 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 wait a minute. This guy was there on the day that I was arrested. I didn't know his name then, but there was a name that was mentioned before this monitoring comes in. So they're kind of like, okay, maybe the guy is true. On that day, there were motorcade that would say, we need to arrest somebody because we're all up in arms. They say, who are the killers of the sensor? It's been long now. How, where, mm -hmm. What is the wait? Then for them, it was like, guys, let us go on the street and just get somebody that will that will make everything to go away from our shoulders mm, but they mm. messed everything up from the from the time that the sensor was shot the crime scene and everything up until now they're still collecting evidence people are still making statements on september but since, since this thing happened in in way back 2014 mm. I, I agree with mr Minisi. if the state was not ready to present this thing it was not going to be embarrassing. The yeah, state exactly. should have said, we are still That's busy. Of, yeah. Yeah, so now they must again go for back and forth, back and forth. Now certain witness comes in, they must again adjust, like Mrs. saying. But at least that's what I want you to say, that, that uh, to highlight that one of uh, Metropolis comes in. But mm. in terms of securing, uh, in terms of escorting high-profile people, pe those people are not supposed to be there. You got yeah, subs that are, are red. Yeah, yes, yeah. The, the subs those are the red berettas or berettas people that can do the sub. You got EST from the subs that can do so to do all that. Then, but why must he be asked this this person specifically to escort the offender or to escort the accused from that point to another point and from that point to another point? That's why now why I, I, again it's confusing for me. And why Mboto? Is there, Mboto is the only one that is capable of doing this job. <laughs> that, 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 that was my, that thing, my question. Or Ibo, where does this guy, is it, is it the, the most person in the whole subs to say this is the best person to do this job? So there's no way anybody else. But this Kininda one must come to the stand and explain to us uh, what is it. We should demand for his uh, uh, appearance. <laughs> I know. Yes. They're not going to quite consider our demand anyways we can only bark 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 but our bark is not going to have a bite anyway hey, that's the same <laughs> but, part. You know what i like though what i like though is the fact that they watch us they listen to us yes they do. <laughs> yes that yes is just yes extremely angry <laughs> i like that part that part makes me very happy that at least they know <laughs> what the public is thinking and saying yes we yes. might not know the law but it works.
Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me get to the comments. Thank you so and much, then... uh, Clintus. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Guys. Thank oh, you no, much. no, no, it's great. No, thank you guys for coming through. Uh, you All guys right. made the live very, very interesting as well. I saw comments last week. Everybody was happy with y'all, <laughs> especially you, Dan. They say oh. you come every week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I, I've, if you let me, I'll be up here. I'm available. No, you're free. Come on, this is the clan fam. <laughs> no, no problem. So, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, let me get to the comments and then we. All right, be them. safe, y'all. All bye, right, guys. be safe you too as well. Bye, guys. Okay, chop chop. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get to the comments. Guys, you heard the panel. You are also free to click on the link that I put and then you just click on it and then you come on and I will just accept you and then uh, we talk. You get to tell me what's on your mind, self-appointed experts. I want to hear what's in here in your head regarding <laughs> everything that is transpiring at the Nohal Teng High Court. Let's go to the comment section. I'll try to be as fast as I can. Quarter two is the cut off of this live. So let's go. I mean, I say it's my hope is that the trial within a trial, it comes over conclusion so that they can open uh, open this case. We're all waiting for the 375. <laughs> Will it ever? That's my question. Uh, Matabo says, good afternoon, family. Good afternoon to you too, Matabo. Prosper K says, in South Africa, only the rich have a voice. Kelly is walking free as if nothing happened. Very true. Uh, Nelisa says, your 300 DMs. Yep, that is very busy. Uh, Nelisa says, Clancy's people really want fate tea. Well, you saw her. <laughs> Nico says, yes, I did send uh, to uh, uh, Clancy's. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I will check. I will check, Nico. Uh, Nelson says, uh, these murder murderers don't understand the pain they cause families. Just found out that Tib's mother, a.k.a.'s friend who passed on alongside him, just passed on last week from a broken heart. Oh, oh my gosh. May she rest in peace. Princess Sway says, hi, clan. How is it that Baloy is omitting certain parts of the statement? Why is he so comfortable knowing that what he uh, will the defense need? Bank statements were edited. Mr. Ramos Sipili said where they are missing. That's true. You know, of course, Baloy is going to do as he pleases. He's the teacher's pet, the, the favorite child. And he knows that and he's using it to his advantage. That is why he's behaving the way he's behaving. And it's infuriating. Nancy says, a family having a, uh, to bury two important people eight months apart. Sad, 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 sad. Shorty says, YouTubers need to get info about this, uh, these cops, witnesses, especially this colonel. Colonels, I agree. Uh, but, you know, some of us, I, I think, I think journalists, who are following this case ought to be the one, especially investigative journalists. Hey, they must do us a favor. Do us a, because I think if it's done by them, the credibility is much better than if a YouTuber does it. Uh, Nico says, I bet those missing passages or pages of suspects, they will they were uh, bloodstained. Hence, there are two confessions. Ooh, possible. At this point, anything is possible. Nico says, even in the writer uh, writer creature uh, uh, case, Gininda is mentioned in, in the torturing. So this is his uh, op uh, modus operandi, right? Uh, Punyo says, uh, my other concern is, uh, what is Sibanye paying date? Oh, apparently it's the first of the month. If you are not fully employed, like what's his name? Uh, accused number two was. I think he said the first of each month. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Uh, is it appearing on the statement? The inferences or inference is that, oh, interference is the name of the game with Vaseline, knowing Ratata, these are admissible to this judge. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a favorite. He's a favorite. Faith says, hey, Klein, what's up, girl? Uh, Nisa says, someone said it's 25th, but because 25th was a Saturday, he may have been paid on the 24th. Okay. 
Diego says, watch Trial 14 uh, and Confession on Netflix. All right. Shorty says, thanks. I'm going to check it. Rita, um, hi, Rita. Hello, experts. Hello, expert. Uh, Mina, I still have hope that God will do justice and these guys will be exonerated if they didn't do it. The truth has a tendency of coming out at the end of the day. Quinza says that uh, this is an unfair trial. True. At which grounds or at what uh, which grounds can the defense ask for a recusal of this judge? They can do it even right now. How does uh, he tell Advocate Dimnisi to sit down like that? This ratata has uh, no manners at all. Lack of professionalism. I agree. Nico says that this uh, this case was supposed to be tried in South Gauteng High Court. Actually, the South Gauteng High Court or the North Gauteng High Court. They have the same judge president, so they kind of work with each other. So it doesn't matter which of the two courts this is taking place, from what I was told. Uh, hence, the other docket is held. Hence, they're trying to avoid it at any cost. The defense was supposed to query from the start about jurisdiction. Uh, yeah, like I said, the two courts, they kind of work with each other. They have the same judge president from what I understand. And uh, Nico says, I wish uh, this case was handled by Honorable Judge Museneke. Ooh, he's retired. And I, again, I don't think he would take it because it was a constitutional court deputy chief justice. And then to be dropped to a high court level, I don't know. That's just my thinking. Maybe as a commission of inquiry, yeah, I would agree. Uh, Dan says, Nisi meant that uh, the trial within a trial could continue with unverified, uh, what do you call this, submission. Changing the narrative is in the house. Oh, thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Oh, damn, I didn't know you were live. I just sent a message to you. Yeah, oh, I see it as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll read it after I'm done here. Uh, Tinya, uh, Tiani says, here come the tea lady. <laughs> Did you drop any tea? <laughs> Uh, Lufate says, Clancy's, uh doesn't give us the tea. I gave you the tea, but in an improvised way, though. Dennis says, yes, the lady with the tea is here. Caroline says, yes, bring the tea. We are here for it. <laughs> the tea. Lucky says, uh, do those crutches have your dick? <laughs> Dennis says, alkaline. <laughs> Uh, there's a says Lord Lantis is such a model C student. <laughs> uh, this says faith is clear, faith release the tea. Oh, faith shame, release the tea, girl. People want the tea. And then Nico says, uh, but SA can't be held at ransom by this uh, retired judge. This is taking our country down the drain. Wonder how, uh, is the J JSC a uh, quite a uh, quiet. Quite do you think uh, normal people can still believe that we're still in a democratic South Africa? I think they're also saying if this judge is an unfair judge, take him to a uh, Supreme Court of Appeal. Maybe that's why they are quiet. I don't know. Shorty says your volume is low. My volume is low. I'm so loud. My Actually, before I even come live, there's a test that you need to do with your volume and it's full. Because when I go, ah, the whole thing, the bar is green. It fills up. So maybe it's your device. Check it out, please. Zolisa says that the judge and state have come out with a strategy to intimidate the defense using judge superior position. I agree. I believe that. They know that the, the, the decorum for advocates is to listen to what the judge says because he's the god in court. Gamsida says, it is so sad and makes me angry to see a judge do this. They just disrespect all of us. But this Baloy has destroyed his career forever. He thinks he's winning. Yeah, I don't think he's winning at all as well. I don't think this case of his died a long time ago, I say. I think it died around uh, Tumelo Madala. My take. Uh, or maybe the first two uh, response officers. It may have died there. Nico says that they saw that they fumbled, and now he kicks uh, kicks the sand. <laughs> uh, Patricia says, hi, Glenn. Hi, Patricia. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. 
Kamsina says there is no justice for poor people. These lawyers are cowards and only care about their careers. It's obvious that the retired crazy judge was picked deliberately. This is so evil. <laughs> you are angry, right? <laughs> I can feel your comment. Princess says, Abigail, why I am asking because that, uh, that can prove Maloy and the state is tempered with evidence or has tempered with evidence. Dada says, my son said, da uh, Daddy, why is the judge upset when the so-called accused were cleared by the DNA test? Good question. That's a very good question. We are wondering. Puyaza says, you faith, I felt it for both Ramosipila and Amnesi. Baloy is tampering with evidence of bo uh, both bank statement and performer. He said, take me on appeal. I hope they do. I hope they do. Uh, Patricia says, I don't understand why they don't believe in Danzi that he was hit. I remember Mtogos, this is uh, Senzo's friend, testified that he was suffocated and hit by the police without uniform, where he said Joyce took him. That's true. So it's clear that uh, this is something that the police does. I hope the judge was not sitting on his ears when Mtogos told that story. I remember I was so upset in my video, I even said that was inhumane. And if it's true that uh, Joyce Buteleza needs to be arrested, I still remember the emotions I felt. And I said, if this is true, then um, he, he, yeah, she should be arrested for that. That I say is that that question was yucky as a judge. Too much. Dipuo says, a high plan, we pray at this moment. We have to trust God's process. I agree. That I say, Mshololo put him in his place, period. Yeah. And she was absent yesterday. You could feel her absence. Tati says he is jealous. That's why I uh, was questioning Nisi in a public court. Okay. Dipuo says well, we should be mindful that the judge is on the payroll of the state. He can't even pretend to be impartial. He should. He should, though. He should be neutral. Patricia says uh, the judge asked him to see if he reported the matter to the police. He said, yes, say he reported, but nothing came out of it. But now they want to say Dante is not telling the truth. We all know the police. They, yeah, that's true. We, we, we know that. We've got family members who've gone through torture by the subs. Okay, Dicolesa says, I agree that the judge is trying to break Nisi. He is no longer scared of him. Uh, Mzamo says, my point of view, the defense is getting weaker and weaker. They should dis disallow proceeding uh, after DNA evidence have excluded all suspects. I also thought at that point uh, they would have made an application uh, for Section 174 of the Constitution. But yes, I know that. You only apply for that towards the end of uh, the, the trial. But I thought strategically I would launch an application to have the judge recuse himself. And what is recusing himself? And if the JSC would consider that uh, recusal, also launch Section one, uh, 174 at the same time on the grounds of the DNA uh, results. That's what I would have done. Sandy says that uh, this judge is too personal with Mnisi and Mshololo because they can't take uh, being bullied by this cruel old man. <laughs> Dada says uh, because Kininda is the chef to cook all this and now he's shoving it on everybody's mouth. Mm. Dekoliza says Kininda is the senior investigator. He needs to come to court. Sandy says, hey, you can say that again. Kininda, uh, this Kininda, that is everywhere. Pilsa says to uh, Tumzamo, defense team made a huge mistake by not supporting Ramos Tipili when he wanted time to consult cause the outcome will affect accused number three to five confessions, affects them too. Hope Danzi is honest. Um, appeal. I'm just saying appeal. Appeal at this point in time. Nicoliza says, uh, do you think Ramosipili will be able to pull up the story of Sibia's father? It doesn't even look like uh, he knows about that. I hope he does, hey, because uh, they can play any taping that way, or taping where he says something like that anyway. I don't know. Uh, but if it's a hearsay, 
uh, I think Malo is going to stand up on hearsay. I don't know. Uh, Dadaism Boto is a burnt out human uh, left for cows to pull on him. Try telling the truth when you are close to death, Boto. I agree. I think at this point in your life, especially when you have retired and you are of the a particular age, you need to start preparing. You know, you, you correct the wrongs you've made and you make amends and then you prepare yourself, you know? But no, this one is like, <laughs> take me to hell, please. Like right there. Then I hope you burn. You ask for it. Nicolesa says, yes, say his first name is Bongani Kininda. Wow. Ice Key says, uh, showing some love from Florida. Peace and blessings, Lantis. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, uh, Ice Key. I appreciate you being here. That is a brilliant lady speaker. Yeah, she's awesome. Both Faith and, um, and Noni, I enjoy them very, very much listening and talking to them. I do enjoy that. Uh, Brisa says, remember, Brigadier Geninda is heading, in, uh, heading investigating this case opposing case 37. I wonder why he's doing that. Dicolesa says that uh, Remo Sipili is, uh, this uh, is this people who don't like to be shouted at. You can tell he becomes so nerved, uh, nervous and lose track of what he was going to say. I also picked that up that he does lose uh, his chain of thought. Maybe he wants to say something back like, why are you disrespecting me? But he remembers this is a judge. I don't know. I, I feel bad for him though. Caroline says, it's uh, nice to be here. Thank you so much. Punyeza says, Moses, I, I am hoping the same too. Lufati says that there is a case study of what not to do in a criminal matter. I hope, but it looks like this judge is ignoring it. Lindy says, I think that your friends needs to get collected and be up in arms with the state because this is war. This is a high profile case and it's important for the future. Yep, Shorty says, uh, true, Lindy, where Dada says it is clear that the case is a uh, remote control from somewhere. Guys, I have to go. Uh, I, I, in fact, I got some headed to go. I, the, the comments just keep coming. I see they just keep coming. I'm so sorry if I did not get to your comment. I apologize for that. I got to go because I thought in quarter two, I would be done. Thank you guys so much for being here. I, you know me. I am very, very appreciative of all of you uh, being here and supporting this channel. Highly, highly, highly appreciated. Once again, I would also like to beg you guys, please go to Clancy's on Business and just watch the videos. You don't have to subscribe. Just watch the videos. I need 4,000 hours there of watch time. That's it that I need 4,000 hours. If you want to subscribe to give me a thousand subscribers, I don't have a problem with that either, but watch the video. Okay. You don't have to watch. You can let them play in the background. I'm going to create a, um, a playlist so that it's just one after the other. I keep forgetting to do the playlist. It was a great advice that I got from View Bay. I think it's, uh, she called herself so yeah, please help me with that one. I beg you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm begging, I'm on my knees, I'm begging for this one. Clancy's on business. I will leave the link of the video in the comment section. I'll pin it as well as leave it in the description box of this live stream. Thank you all so much for being here. I'll see you guys next time with a new one next week when we talk about our self-appointed expert commentary. See you all guys, much love. I love you all. And we shall see each other again soon. And this time around, let me remember to press the end stream twice. Because you press it twice.